Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto, low carb lifestyle. And I have some bread back there. I don't know if you can see it right there on the stove. I just made some bread. This is a great practically zero carb bread. It is made out of egg whites. The recipe was originated by Maria Emmerich. My husband took some in his lunch not too long ago as a sandwich. And he told me that it reminded him of Wonder Bread. That's huge, you guys. If I can take some egg whites and turn it into bread, my husband likes it and says that it reminded him of Wonder Bread, that's a pretty great thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made this Wonder Bread. So I did this video once before, but it was when I first tried making this type of bread. It came out pretty good and I did enjoy it and eat it. But now I have made one change to doing this recipe. This recipe is Maria Emmerich's recipe. And then it was tweaked by Indigo Nilly and she added some egg yolk powder to this and it changed the texture of the bread a little bit. And so I am making it the same way that Indigo Nilly makes it. The first time that I made it, I measured out the egg white powder and the egg yolk powder into the measuring cups and measuring spoons. She recommended that you weigh out the powder instead of putting it into measuring cups. I have started weighing out my egg white powder and my egg yolk powder. It makes a huge difference in the texture of the bread. I will link the recipe down in the description below and you can go and check it out, but it's super important to have a little scale where you can weigh out your egg white powder. I have my oven preheated to 325 degrees and I am gonna start by adding one and a half cups of water. Now I have my jar on the scale and I zeroed it out to zero. And I am gonna go ahead and scoop out some of this egg white powder. This is Keto Chow egg white powder. I have a discount link down below. You can use low carb revelation. And so you can go check that out if you wanna use the Keto Chow egg white powder and save some money. So I'm gonna head and scoop this out until the scale says minus 120 grams because I'm taking 120 grams out and it is 120 grams. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. The recipe says 120 grams or one and a half cups. Let me tell you, it is so much better weighing it out. I'm gonna to add to this a half a teaspoon of salt. I am using Redmond's and a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I have a quarter cup of allulose here. Fat in the egg yolk powder will prevent the whites from going into stiff peaks. So you do not add this yet. That is the only thing you do not add. Everything else goes into the mixer. Get this a little bit mixed up before I turn it up on high. Raise this up a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna turn this on high for five minutes. It has been five minutes. You can see here that I have stiff peaks in my egg whites. We want six grams of the egg yolk powder. Bought this egg yolk powder on Amazon. I can link it down below. And that's seven, so we're gonna take off a little bit. Okay, we have six grams of egg yolk powder here. I'm gonna dump it right in here. I'm just going to put this on low speed just until it gets mixed in. Okay, you only want to do that for just enough for it to get incorporated. You can see there's a little bit here on the side, so I'm just going to mix it in a little bit more with my spatula and make sure that it's all mixed in. I have a bread pan here lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna pour this in. Egg white powder is so pricey right now. So I wanna make sure that I get every bit of it out of here. I don't wanna waste any of it. And then you just 
form your loaf very lightly. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 325 degrees and I will show you what it looks like when it is done. This out of the oven. It was only in there for 30 minutes. On the recipe, it will say 40 minutes, I believe. I don't know why, but in my oven, it is cooked in only 30 minutes. So I recommend keeping an eye on it after maybe 20 minutes, depending on what size pan you're using so that it doesn't burn. You want to, you want to keep an eye on it and then note what time it is in your oven. So here is my bread. It is finishing cooling off. My sides caved in a little bit. I don't remember why that happens. I have to rewatch some of the videos to see why the sides cave in a little bit, but it does look beautiful. And so I'm going to let this finish cooling and then I'm gonna slice it up and show you what it looks like. I have to get a bread knife. I need a really good bread knife. <laughs> I was having a hard time getting a regular like chef knife to cut this nicely. I need to get a serrated bread knife. But look at how beautiful this bread is. Look at the texture. It has the little bubbles in it, which I heard is a good thing. It's nice and soft. So here is my bread slice that I'm gonna be trying. I have a little bit of jam on here. I'm gonna show you this jam. This is a cherry jam. It's called Good Good. And this company, you can buy this on Amazon. I will link it down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of this cherry jam on this bread. This is so good and I feel like I'm eating regular bread. I have had people ask me, does it have an eggy taste? It does not have an eggy taste. The eggy taste comes from the yolk of an egg. The egg whites don't have too much of an eggy flavor. This is made mostly with egg white powder. It only has a little bit of egg yolk in it. So it does not taste eggy. The texture of it is great. I'm so excited because tonight I'm gonna to be making BLT sandwiches for dinner. I have not had regular like BLT sandwiches in almost a year. And so tonight I'm going to toast up this bread. It does toast up pretty good. You have to watch it closely in your toaster because it can burn quickly. So do it on a light setting and keep your eye on it. But I'm gonna toast this up and I'm gonna put bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on it and have a delicious BLT sandwich. I'm so excited. So that's all I have for you today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video because it helps out my channel and have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless.